Me and my family, we visited Dinosaur Adventureland, and here's what we saw. However, here's only a couple highlights. Dinosaur Adventureland is really big and it will not fit in one video. So I hope you will enjoy. Thank you. That's a big bird, isn't it? Favorite food is five year olds. Okay, guys, come on. Let's go. We got places to go. People to see. I'm here in Kenhoven Science Museum. So, come, I'll show you something interesting. See this right here? This is actual replica of dinosaur skin. So, the dinosaur was walking, falling in mud, um, and this is the imprints of its skin. It's a replica. So, look at it right here. This is a leg, you can see the toenail, and if you look at carefully, you see all these circle patterns. This is really cool. Now we know how a dinosaur really looked like, although we don't know the color of it, but this is the most close dinosaur we can find. And right here, if you come here, this is the tail. Tail of the dinosaur, you see this spokes, and right here you see the circles. Because when What's important about these circles, when people draw the dinosaur from 2,000 years ago, um, they draw the circle on the dinosaur, but scientists didn't know it has circles until they find the skin. So this room is full of all sorts of fossils. For example, right here, you see the scientists, they find a dinosaur bone, I think it was a T-Rex, and they were carrying it, they broke it, it fell apart, and they find the raw, not petrified, blood tissue in there. So that means dinosaur died out recently. It didn't have a time to petrify it all the way. And uh, right here you see all sorts of uh, ammonite fossils, a shells, a bunch of petrified shells. Where did you see something like this with all different shells petrified together? There was a worldwide flood, that's where this petrified. You see all sorts of corals, um, petrified wood. Um, a lot of stuff. Right here you see uh, real bones and replica bones of dinosaurs. Let's keep going. Trilobites. This is the size of mammoth. That's, that was a big elephant. Mammoth was big. You can see the teeth of the elephant, of the mammoth. It's huge. This is one teeth in that size. And you can see them right here. This is mammoth tooth. So this is one tooth of a mammoth. This is it. One tooth. That's, that's how big it is. And I'm not supposed to touch it. Right here you see a fern. It's supposedly, um, I think, 600 million years old, according to science. However, it's still the same today. It did not evolve at all. Alright, if you see this right here, that's a replica of human bone. Do you see it's from here taller than me? That's just a bone. If you look at the human, <coughs> this will be six feet. That's how tall the human will be, and that's the bone they found. Bible said in those days there were giants, so that's it. It's a bone of a giant. And look at they found the footprints of a human. Come here. You think this would match my foot? It's probably a Goliath foot, but this one, this is huge, huge somebody's foot, and that's a foot that they found. But this is a real replica of human foot. Look at my foot compared to his. It's a huge guy. So I like this wall. This will explain. I like this wall. This will explain how dinosaur used to live with human all the time. So if you look at this dinosaur, and then you look at this triceratops right here, this is a live, live dinosaur, just really smaller size. The same bump, same face feature, same skeleton. So that's a little baby dinosaur right there, alive. And Indian, right here, if you look right here, Indians carved this on the wall. It looks like a T-Rex to me. Um, you can see a bunch of pictures right here. Egyptian, they did this right here. Can you zoom in over here? How does that look to you? Long neck, a dragon faces, that looks like a dinosaur. And they draw them, that means they must have had them. Right here, 
you can see a little triceratops, a chameleon in a thing. It has three horns just like the big dinosaur head. So there you go, a live dinosaur. I mean, it's dead already. Okay, right here, there's a lot of story. There's a lot of story how people saw a real dinosaur. And one story, I built this one for Ken Hoven maybe like two years ago. You can see people killing a dinosaur. And that's the story of Mokele and Bembe when they said they kill a dinosaur. They set the stakes across the street. They put the stake across the river where the dinosaur used to walk and it got caught and they killed it with spears. There was more guys over here but somebody already break them. There were more trees. This looked more better but apparently people broke it already. And you can see right here all the stories people saw, saw the dinosaur taking sheep and all sorts of stories. That's awesome. This is the fish room, but what's really interesting here is check out this shell right here. This is huge. That's a real one. See this compared to my hand, how big it is? That's another big one right here. Bunch of big shells. And right here, you can see all sorts of uh, bugs. But what's interesting, this is the sign of a real beetle. So this is my emu. I used to have this bird in my shed. Now it's Dennis Adventureland. Oh, it's it just uh, made a noise. Make a noise, emu. This is the noise emu makes. We had fun, we took the real tour, drive around, feed the animals, also I get to meet Ken Hoven and I made it to one of his YouTube videos which was also fun. Thank you for watching. That was it.